Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Mooncat Songs of Sirens collection. There are nine polishes here all together. These are available right now, so I will link the Mooncat website down below where you can check these out. I also have comparisons at the end of the video, nine polishes all together, and I will get into the swatches. Also, if you hear a ton of weird background sounds during this voiceover, I apologize. It's very windy outside. It's very loud. My power is even out right now. So here is a look at what the Mooncat boxes look like. I actually have been forgetting to show boxes for the last couple couple videos, but here they are. The first polish is called the Siren's Revenge, and this is described as a mint green filled with color shifting blue to green shimmer. Good formula on this one, really great shimmer. It stands out really nicely, and it's a little bit of a larger, almost glittery looking shimmer. It is a little bit sheer on that first coat, but it's still pretty even. This covered really well for me in two coats, but I could maybe see needing three depending on the person, but I was good in two. So that is two coats of the Siren's Revenge. The next polish is called Quicksands Embrace, and this is described as a dusty pink magnetic with a soft, subtle holographic magnetic stripe. So this is a little bit sheer on the first coat when worn cat eye style because it pulls all that magnetic pigment that would normally give a little bit of coverage to the center. This does have a really good formula and it is a bit more of a subtle magnetic effect. This actually covered really well for me in two coats. I was expecting it to be much more sheer than it was. I couldn't pick out any nail line even if I really looked for it. So I was good for this in two. So that is two coats of Quicksands Embrace, cat eye style, velvet style, and unmagnetized. The next polish is called The Sea Between Us, and this is described as an ocean blue jelly packed with green iridescent flakies, light blue shimmer, and micro holographic glitter. So good formula on this one. It is in a jelly base, so it is fairly sheer and squishy and see-through. It is pretty saturated for a jelly, but you obviously still see through it. It's absolutely packed with flakies, which do lend a bit of coverage, and then you also get some good coverage from the shimmer that's in there as well. This covered really well for me in two coats. If I looked really closely, I could see a little bit of nail line but I didn't feel like it was enough to need a third coat. And those flakies will lay relatively flat. You'll still want top coat to fully smooth it out and they will not be as difficult to remove as a glitter. So that is two coats of the sea between us. The next polish is called Am I Everything You Fear? And this is described as a dusty, deep teal filled with color shifting pink to orange to green shimmer and micro holographic glitter. This covered pretty well on the first coat, still a little bit sheer, really great, smooth, contrasting shimmer, no brush strokes through that shimmer at all, and that holographic glitter stands out really nicely. This easily covered in two coats, and the second coat deepened the base color quite a bit so that shimmer stands out even more, just really, really beautiful polish. So that is two coats of Am I Everything You Fear? Fear. The next polish is called Ghost Ship, and this is described as a royal purple magnetic filled with blue shimmer and micro holographic glitter. So again, cat eye style makes the most sense for me for swatching for magnetic polishes, which is a little bit sheer when worn that way, again, because it's pulling a lot of that shimmer that we get coverage from to the center, but really not super sheer. And it did cover completely for me in two coats with a nice strong magnetic stripe. So that is two coats of Ghost Ship Cat Eye Style, two coats of Ghost Ship Velvet Style, and Unmagnetized as well. The next polish is called A Most Destructive Melody, and this is described as a multi-chrome shimmer that shifts between shades of blue and purple, and I twisted the bottle around a lot here so you could kind of see the shift because it's a very, very shifty multi-chrome, but it's very hard for me to pick that up from my camera angle. Great formula on this, super opaque, really strong multi-chrome effect, and I like that it's kind of like a shimmery multi-chrome, not like a very smooth chrome-like multi-chrome. It looked very, very blue here on camera, but very purple from the angle that I was looking at it while I swatched it. So very shifty. This covered completely for me in two coats. So that is two coats of a most destructive melody. The next polish is called Maelstrom, and this is described as a deep blue-green jelly polish filled with color-shifting green to yellow iridescent flakies and micro holographic glitter. Great formula on this one, also packed with flakies. The base is a jelly, so it's got that squishy, slightly sheer look, but it is a very saturated jelly, so it's not super sheer. This built up really nicely in two coats, it deepened the color a little bit, and all the flakies and holographic glitter stand out really nicely. So that is two coats of Maelstrom. The next polish is called Treachery in the Blue, and this is a blue thermal polish with micro holographic glitter that transitions from a shade of blue when cold to a sheer neutral shade when warm. 
sheer neutral is kind of vague, but you'll see it here in a second. So formula is really good on this one. It's a little bit sheer and just like the tiniest bit patchy, but I find that to be pretty typical for thermal polishes for some reason. It also dries kind of dull, which is also typical for thermal polishes, but it's still built up totally fine for me in two coats. And I really like the addition of the glitter in this one. So that is two coats of treachery in the blue in its cold state. And here it is warming up to this nice blush pink shade when it's fully in its warm state. And it is a little bit more sheer here. There's a little bit of nail line showing, but it's not terrible. And the last polish is called Dark Omens, and this is described as a dark purple thermal polish that transitions from a shade of deep dark purple when cold to a shade of light purple when warm. Again, good formula on this one. It applies really nicely, a little bit sheer and just a tiny bit streaky, but again, I find that to be pretty typical for thermal polishes. It still builds up and covers completely in two coats and again, does dry a little bit dull, which is also typical for thermal polishes. So that is two coats of Dark Omens in its cold state. And here it is warming up to that light purple shade that it is when it's fully warm. And I found this one much more sensitive to my body temperature than the previous one. I actually have a clip here in a second that you'll You'll see where I actually had like the French tip effect from the temperature change, which never happens with thermals on me. I was really excited about that. My nails are usually just too short and the heat transfers to any free edge that I have and I don't get this look, but this one seemed very sensitive to temperature. So that is two coats of Dark Omens. Okay, for the Siren's Revenge, this first one here is Acid Washed. This has a much chunkier iridescent flaky and is a little bit of a lighter turquoise color. This here is Ragdoll. This is a glow-in-the-dark polish. This has a finer blue shimmer as opposed to this green shimmer and also is more of like a baby blue shade. This one is Earth to Gaia. This is kind of a similar color. It's a little bit lighter. It has a scattered holographic glitter and it has that really strong like reddy pink shimmer to it. This is full scream ahead. This is a holographic and it almost looks like a, like a gray blue with a strong green shimmer. So it does kind of have the same green, but not the same thing at all. This is Sabretooth. This dries matte. This is also a baby blue with like a finer blue shimmer. It's kind of close to Ragdoll actually. This is a cat hair. And this is Melting Clocks. Again, this is more blue with a red shimmer. So nothing close here. Okay, so for Quicksand's Embrace, I did not magnetize this because I'm not comparing it to magnetics, so that's one thing to note. This here is a doll's house. This is a cream polish, so it's not comparable in finish, but it is a very, very close color. It might be a little bit darker, but that could also be because Quicksand's Embrace is a little watered down by the holographic magnetic pigment, which will make it seem a little bit lighter. So color-wise, these are almost identical, just a different finish. This one is Sand Viper. This is also a similar color, but it's a bit more sheer, a little bit lighter, and then has that strong orange shimmer to it. And then this one here is Devil's Oasis. This is... That is a very loud plane. Quicksand's Embrace has a very, very subtle holographic to it because it's a very creamy polish, where Devil's Oasis is very strong linear holographic, a darker shade, and then also has a red shimmer. So it feels kind of wrong to come in here and say this, but in case I get asked, it is very close to 90 Lacquer S'more Hollow, which obviously you can't get anymore. So the color and the holographic effect are very, very similar with the bonus that the Moon Cat is also magnetic. So if you didn't get S'more Hollow, you have this. So for Am I Everything You Fear, I pulled out Mermaid Bait. I knew that this was going to be lighter, but this was the first polish that I thought of when I saw Am I Everything You Fear. I just wanted to see how they compared, and they're really not close at all, but I thought if I thought of it, maybe someone else thought of it. Maybe I should put it in here. So this is a much lighter blue. It has kind of a more broken up, flaky finish to it, and then doesn't have that strong red shimmer. This is Black Flame Candle. This is a magnetic. This looked a lot more similar in the bottle than it actually ended up being once I put it on the nail. So this is very red with flakies. This is Malacca Mystica. This is also a magnetic. This is from the same collection, Hocus Pocus, I think. Um, also dark with the flakies. I don't know why I thought that these looked similar in the bottle. Probably because Am I Everything You Fear looks wildly different in the bottle than it does on the nails. This is Pangea. This also dries matte, and this is a little bit more blue. I would say they have similar base colors, but the look is totally different. You've got the strong contrasting shimmer here versus these kind of contrasting iridescent flakies. Okay, so for Go 
most ship. This first one is Sealed with a Hiss. This is a lighter purple and it has a much stronger, chunkier holographic glitter to it and a blue shimmer. And also I did not magnetize Ghost Ship again because nothing that I'm comparing it to is a magnetic. Oh, actually one of them is, but I didn't magnetize that one either. This is Shattered Glass. This is a lighter purple with a strong linear holographic to it. This is Into the Wishing Well. This is again a lighter purple. It's a little bit more sheer and it has a strong like contrasting red shimmer. This is Utopia. This is much more blue with a strong linear holographic to it. This is, this is a storm warning. So this is much more gray, but it has an almost identical finish because they are both magnetics. Oh, and I didn't magnetize it. And then this one is anti-fragile and this is a darker purple with a strong linear holographic. When I was actually swatching this wheel, I have like I want to wear Utopia and I want to wear Anti-Fragile and I can't decide which one I want to wear, but I'm going to put one on tonight. So for the sea between us, this first one is Cosmic Cowboy. This is a much more true blue, less of a green blue. It has a different flaky to it. It's kind of got a like purpley red flaky and it's got much less flakies just in general. So it's a slightly different look. It's more of a blue polish with flakies than like a really packed flaky polish, if that makes sense. This one is Catfished. This is a lighter shade and it's a totally different finish. It's a really, really fine flaky that makes this really like sparkly metallic kind of finish to it, not like a larger chunkier flaky that's meant to stand out. And then this is River Styx. This is a smooth blue with like a gold green shimmer to it. So again, nothing super Super comparable. I live by an airport in case you can't tell. Okay, so this is a most destructive melody. This is a very merry on birthday. This is a lighter purple. It doesn't quite have the, or like the whole polish doesn't have that really strong multi-chrome shift to it. It does have multi-chrome flakies in it, but they're much more of an obvious addition to the polish, not like making up a more solid multi-chrome look. That makes sense at all. This one is pomegranate seeds. This is is a warmer shade and also is like a solid base color with iridescent flakies in it. So nothing close there. So for Maelstrom, this is Velociraptor. This is also a matte shade. This one is much more green with a different kind of flaky. This flaky leans more ready purple versus a very green blue flaky. And then this one is We're Back Witches. This is a magnetic that I did not magnetize and again looked closer in the bottle but I was also kind of of really like squeezing the turn up here to try to get, is that a hair? No, that's just a smudge. Okay, it's good. To try to get as many comparisons as possible because it is hard to make comparisons to a brand like Mooncat because there are so many different finishes. Even if a color is similar, it can't really match it up because the elements inside will be so different. So this is much more green and different flakies and fewer of them and magnetic. So for the last two, they are both thermals. So this was a really hard comparison to make because they're not always going to be this color. I just tried to match them up based on the cold color. That's the best I could do. So this one is Treachery in the Blue. This is is Misery is my favorite color and this is kind of similar, kind of not quite. So Treachery in the Blue has this scattered glitter to it, really fine scattered like sparkle. I can't read my own handwriting. Misery is my favorite color. I think that's what I think I wrote color. Misery is my favorite color. It is a little bit of a lighter blue and has a blue shimmer to it as well. So they're close um, when this one is cold, but obviously it's gonna change significantly based on temperature. And just because I'm going to do this for the next one, since I'm comparing two thermals, I figured I should probably do it for this one too. So let me turn the blow dryer on. So you can see that is going to change significantly once it's warm. And lastly, for Dark Omens, I have Freudian Slip. This is much more purple and a much lighter shade. This is not a thermal. This one here, Queen of the Dead, is a thermal. There's more cat hair. This one is a thermal, but obviously they're gonna change colors a little bit. So they look pretty similar initially, but Queen of the Dead is a little bit lighter and a little bit more red until they warm up. So you can see warmed up, Dark Omens is actually a lot closer to Freudian Slip, but it's even a little bit more of a vibrant purple, less of that dusty kind of mauve shade. And then Queen of the Dead is a very deep red. So I have two favorites here. Am I Everything You Fear? I love this one. This is the one that stood out to me when I saw the whole collection spread out in front of me. This one just like popped out because of the contrasting shimmer. I'm very into shades like this, although I am surprised that I am leaning towards a teal because I'm not usually a teal kind of person, but I really, really like how the shimmer and all the elements came together in this one. 
But also, to my shock, I really like Dark Omens, and I think I like it so much because it seemed to be so sensitive to temperature, and I actually was able to get that kind of French tip look with the polish instead of having to rely on getting a really hot or really cold to see the change. I was able to see both colors that the polish has to offer on my nail at the same time, which never happens with thermals for me, so I'm really excited about that. I don't know if that's like a personal thing, if that was just happening on me at the time, but this was immediately after I swatched the other thermal and I didn't get the same effect with the other thermal, so I'm hoping that it's the polish. So that is the Mooncat Songs of Sirens collection. Again, those are available right now, so I'll link the Mooncat website down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will upload this as soon as my power comes back on, and I will talk to you later. Bye.